In classical Pilates, you use a machine like the Reformer to strengthen your core. In a more modern version, all you need is a mat and an instructor. Today's version of Pilates uses another machine, though, the DVD player. So we are grabbing the remote to find out which Pilates video does the best job of bringing the studio into your home. OK, I need to reform to get off my turn. <laughs> Pilates pros Karen and Tara are going to unroll their mats. Here's the instructor. <laughs> then enroll in our video exercise class. Our next exercise is leg circles. Start by extending one leg up towards the ceiling. About it's it. difficult to see the TV from the back row. <laughs> a lot of times you do spend a lot of time trying to look at the, at the video and find out what they're figuring out what they're trying to do. Physiotherapist and certified Pilates instructor Dana Dabrio says there's a step to take before you turn on the TV. I do recommend doing some mat classes prior to actually doing a DVD. It's very hard to learn off the DVD because no one's there to correct you. The four of us will hit the mat for a workout together. Actually, four workouts in a row. Pilates for Dummies is geared towards the first timer with a bonus intermediate workout. Guyam's Easy Pilates is a beginner level demo of the fundamentals. Denise Austin's Hit the Spot contains seven target workouts for all skill levels. Finally, Stott's Firm and Fit covers 42 exercises from beginner to intermediate. We've been trying them at home in preparation for today's big Pilates marathon. You'll begin pulling your arms up and down as if you were slapping a pool of water. Just kind of good demeanor, don't you think? And she explains things really well, I think. Throughout the workout, the Pilates for Dummies instructor and handy pop-ups are a hit, but there are some basics that any good disc should have. For the best value, look for a DVD that's at least 60 minutes long. So if you don't want to do the whole thing, you can vary your workout, but only doing parts. And make sure the instructor is both experienced and certified. It won't guarantee a great workout, but it could mean safer and more detailed instruction. And if you're new to Pilates, look for a DVD that comes with both a beginner and an intermediate workout. So when you master the first one, you move to the second one without having to buy a whole new DVD. It's really... <laughs> I think it's good that she has a warm-up, though, because you can pay attention to all the muscles, all the specific little muscles that you have to engage. Dana agrees. It's like running. You wouldn't just start sprinting right off the bat. You'd gradually work yourself into more of a workout. So you want to make sure there is a warm-up in it. Back in the Pilates studio, it's on to round three. <laughs> There are some precautions to make your learning curve a little smoother. When you first get your DVD, watch it all the way through so that you're familiar with all the moves. That way you won't be straining your neck as you follow along. And a good instructor will provide modifications or alternatives for those tougher moves. The modifications are a good idea if you're a beginner, just to be safe. Less talk and more action. Relax your arms down. And that's easy Pilates. It's too short. Yeah, no, but well, it's easy Pilates. So Way too, too short. Yeah, she didn't lie when she said it was yeah. easy. Yeah. All right, let's do the next one. Our final disc, Denise Austin's Hit the Spot Pilates. Hips, thighs, or buns? Thighs. Yeah, thighs. OK. Stretch up that leg, and we're now going to begin with leg circles. Take it out. We're finding Denise Austin more enthusiastic than instructive. Up. This is the greatest way to slip those thighs. She just doesn't remind you to keep your pelvis still. She doesn't do much of a warm up. It's like launching right in. After our group test and lots of homework, it's time to separate the weak from the strong. Three of us favored the Pilates for Dummies. It was simple, it was easy to understand. Uh, I think she did really well at explaining, uh, especially if you're a beginner. She really made sure that you were doing it properly, and um, I liked the two levels too, that was good. Once you master the beginners, you can go to the intermediate. And I felt like it was a little bit more advanced than um, any of the others, and so, but still, you know, staying true to proper form, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Plus, I really like the little pop-up features. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, those are good. But for Tara, the Stott DVD came out ahead. 
The fit and firm one as well, I think it's just the closest to being in an actual class. As for the Gaiam Easy Pilates. Too easy. Yeah. Uh, very short. Uh, yeah. But you know, if you absolutely know nothing about Pilates, that might be a good introduction. We've got two more. And the Denise Austin hit the spot was more aerobics class than Pilates workout. But we had fun with her moves. <laughs>